Sticking with the 2024 election, health care proven to be one of the top issues for both candidates, along with the future of the Affordable Care Act. And one key voting bloc has, ha has had a keen interest in the program's staying power. Our Bertha Coombs joins us now with much more on this story. Bertha, good morning. Good morning, Frank. You know, nationally, about half of Latinos get their health insurance through their employers. But in a number of states, they rely heavily on the ACA marketplaces for coverage. Hispanics make up about 22 percent of ACA plan enrollees this year. That's bigger than their portion of the population, and a lot of them in the nation's three biggest markets. In Florida, they make up 16 percent of the market. In Texas, 18 percent. And in California, nearly one in four ACA enrollees is Latino. Now, health insurance like California Blue Shield and Oscar Health have used targeted ad campaigns and community outreach programs to try to court Latinos in both English and Spanish in this market. Oscar Health actually highlighted its Hola Oscar program during their analyst day this year, Frank. You know, really interesting, Bertha. Uh, as you mentioned, Latinos, they're a big demographic in those states. Are they more reliant on the exchange plans than non-Hispanics? It's an interesting thing to look at. The numbers are pretty striking when you look at how many insured Latinos in some of those big states say that they actually get their insurance via the ACA versus employer plans. According to KFF data, it's about 60 percent in California and Texas, more than half in Arizona, which, of course, is a big swing state, and just over one in three in Florida. Now, we know that Hispanics, especially women, are creating businesses at a faster rate than the general population, so that may be why they're more reliant on the individual market. And many these days are benefiting from the 2021 enhanced subsidies, which has boosted enrollment overall. So, Bertha, you also said the insurers, they're courting Latino enrollees. What about the presidential campaigns? Well, they're not specifically targeting Latinos, but they are talking about this. Kamala Harris has pledged to push for extending the enhanced subsidies, which expire at the end of next year. This week, Democrats in the Senate and the House introduced a bill to make them permanent. It's something insurers and hospitals are lobbying for, but Republicans are balking at the price tag you need to pay for. According to the Congressional Budget Office, it comes to over 300 and 50 billion, Frank, and some independent groups say it's up to 400 billion over 10 years.